Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Uh, it's been a while, I've been a little bit busy at work, but normal service will be resumed now. I'm going to try and get a video on every week or two. I'm not going to put dates on it. But um, I thought I'd have a quick look around, see what we could do for a bit of a project. The next big thing I've got to do on the channel is going to be to um, take the engine and transmission out of the camper van. If you've seen the, uh, the other videos, you'll know what I'm talking about. But I wanted just a quick, uh, a quick thing to do something that would be useful and something that I've seen a lot of people have a go at and I've not really seen anything yet that I would consider to be worth building to keep, you know, something that it's okay just to stick in the shed but I want something that's worth having. Uh, I've got tons of various things around the place and I'm always, always, always coming to vehicles with flat batteries and it's really annoying. So I'll come back into the shop, I'll grab the jump starter, that'll be flat or it won't have enough power in it to start whatever I'm trying to do or Oh, any number of things. So I could do it with a 12 volt generator. I already have one, but again, it's not great. It's, uh, it's about 30 amps, I think. So if you want to put it on a car and dead start it, you know, it's not really got it. It's not powerful enough. So I've had a think, and I think I've come up with an idea and I can make one. It'll be portable. It'll weigh a bit, but it'll be portable. Um, it should be somewhere in the region of a 100 amp output, so I mean that's pretty good, that's going to, uh, that's going to give everything, give, give anything a hand to start. Uh, so I'll show you what I've got. I'm going to mount everything on this piece of C-section, this is left over from the motorcycle trailer project, you can't see that actually, it's behind you. Um, engine wise to power it, ah, one of these, a 2.5 horsepower Honda, it was uh, an eBay find, it was 40 quid brilliant price for it. It was uh, it came off of a mower that got taken back under warranty. There's nothing wrong with it, the carb was dirty. So uh, it's basically new. So great news on that. It runs at 1500 RPM I believe this one does. So 1500 RPM is what I've got to play with. It's a 19mm square shaft so I've got to get a pulley for that and to generate with I've got one of these. I've had this on the shelf for years. If you uh, if you're in the UK, you probably won't know what this is. If you're over in the States, you probably will. This came from a company called Summit Racing, but you can buy them anywhere. Uh, it is a Chevy off of a... Um, well, God knows how many different V8 Chevys fitted these. It's a Chevy one-wire alternator, so there's no excite core on it or anything like that that you need. So you can just put it on, you can turn it in either direction, apparently, and it will just generate 100 amps of 12 volts. So they're a fantastic piece of kit. So the project's going to be... Mount this, mount this, put a pulley on that, belt round it, I'll make some kind of a tension arrangement up like that. And it should just be, I might put an ammeter on it, I don't know yet. But um, it should just be as simple as have a couple of jump leads fastened to this. I'll put some wheels on it and things. And you can just clip it to your battery, start this thing up and leave it for a few seconds. And you're thumping 100 amps in. Now I don't happen to know if this engine here is going to be able to spin this alternator to its full potential. I don't think it'll do 100 amps. But there's only one way to find out, I suppose. So we'll have to put it together. Uh, I'm going to do this, I think, over probably three videos, to be fair. And uh, yeah, this was just the introduction to it. I thought I'd come down and do a quick video because I haven't been on for about two months. Um, any questions, just give me a you know, just message me, that's fine. And uh, thanks for watching.